All right, so it's mid-October. I'm here in Algonquin Park, and uh, I just set off on a five-day canoe trip. It's quite a cold day. It was uh, below freezing overnight, and uh, it actually snowed on my way here this morning. Got a really nice tailwind flying right now. All right, first portage out of the way. Only about uh, six or seven more to go. Well, we had a few snowflakes earlier, but uh, starting to rain now, so looks like I'm gonna have to put my rain gear on. The rain seems to have stopped for the time being and uh, it's getting a little warmer now so it's nice. Another portage complete and uh, this is the second last lake for today so one more to go. Last portage. Oh, Henry first though. All right, here we are, Winona Lake. My lake for tonight. Okay, hopefully this is a nice campsite because uh, I don't really have the energy to, to push on to the next lake that has sites uh, misty. I didn't sleep last night. I was too excited <laughs> for this trip. So um, I'm feeling it now. All right, here it is. It's like a nice point, open, and uh, here comes the rain, right on cue. All right, so let's check it out. Pretty nice and open. A little bit exposed here. 
fire pit and uh, I'm gonna look for a more sheltered area to set up my tent. This right here should be fine. All right, perfect. Long day, no sleep last night. It's gonna feel good once I'm set up here. All right, so I got a gear bomb here. I set up my tent quickly in a tarp. Um, I'm just too tired to make a fire. Getting the bush buddy going. It's, uh, everything's damp, so it took a little bit more time, but uh, seems to be going good now. I have myself a coffee or hot chocolate and uh, some dinner soon as well. I'm just beat. It's not too pretty, but uh, it's actually pretty good. Dinner tonight is shepherd's pie from Mountain House. This is the view out of the tent this morning. 9 a.m., the sun is out. All right. Slept great last night. Over 13 hours, if you can believe it. Feel good today. Sun's out right now. And, uh, should be a good day. Getting the bush buddy going for some coffee. Have my granola bar for breakfast. Take my time, no rush. Don't have too bad of a day. I think it's around 10 kilometers, maybe less. All right, finally off. It's uh, 11.15 in the morning, so I took my sweet time, but uh, I really needed that rest. I slept for 13 hours, unbelievable. But I caught up for all the sleep I didn't have the night before. Feeling good now, and it's a beautiful sunny fall day. Beautiful little lake here. All right, one kilometer portage. Let's get it done. It's beautiful in here. It smells so fresh. Here we are, Misty Lake. Nice. Beautiful. Look at those colors.
colors are simply incredible right now. Just stunning. Nice tailwind down Timberwolf. Got a little surfing action going. All right, last portage of the day. Let's get it done. All right, last portage of the day, done. Time to find a campsite. This is uh, one of my favorite lakes. That's what I want, right there. Oh yeah, she's all mine. Sweet. Love this point. Look at this. Oka.
Gonna have a fire tonight, baby. This site has a 10 out of 10 Thunderbox experience. Just look at that view. That should get it boiling pretty quick. All right, burrito time. Oh yeah. Hey, just give this a try first. Mmm. Damn, that's good. This is my trail mix. It's delicious. All sorts of dried berries, dried tropical fruit, pineapple, coconut, uh, yogurt covered peanuts, chocolate chips, dried bananas, and uh, almond M&Ms, which are the best. All right, it's coffee time. Going with the uh, Colombian roast this morning. Very fancy. Best part of the day. All right, so the next couple of days are gonna be a bit more challenging. I'm going towards the highest lake in the park, accessible by canoe, which is Turn Lake here at 506 meters of elevation. To get there, I have to go through uh, some unmaintained or low maintained portages. And of course, everything's gonna be going uphill from now on. So the big one here is almost three kilometers, uh, low maintenance portage. And uh, there may be some issues with low water levels as well in this section of the park. So. I'm at Macintosh right now, headed towards Turn, and then on my way out, I'll be hitting McCraney and then back up.
to Rain Lake. Another slow start to my day. It's quarter past 11. I've stayed at this site before as well. It's a, it's a nice one. Just beautiful through here. Getting some sun on the portage trail. I can't reach, I got the canoe on my head right now. I can't grab him with my hand. But... Oh, wow. What's up, buddy? It's really cold, huh? It's big. Maybe I will grab him. Wow. Look at that. Alright buddy, I won't hurt you. Beautiful snake. Yeah, I'll let you be. He's cold. He was probably just warming up in the sun. That's why uh, he didn't have enough energy to just run away when I touched him. But uh, I'll let him go now. Big girl, huh? Wow.
that spruce looks good. <laughs> yeah. Another one. So my portage is right over there and uh, I heard some rustling in that direction. Ooh, we're in the rut right now. So there could be a big bull male following her around. So I gotta be careful. I was right, I just spotted there's a big bull in the forest coming down towards her. There he is. He's in there. There he is. The bull is still ahead of me in the forest. He was walking down towards the female. He stopped now, but he's still making some noise up there. And uh, after I rattled my, my, my antlers with my paddle, um, I started hearing something coming from behind me as well. So hopefully I'm not surrounded by uh, two bull moose because uh, it could be kind of dangerous at this time of the year. I'm kind of on high alert right now. After hearing all those branches crack and trying to call a bull over. That was very cool. All right, Brule Lake. Nice sandy beach here. All right, that was very cool. Now on Brule Lake, heading into a creek on the west side of this lake. One wrong step, and I was going for a dip there. There are many different little, there are many different small channels here. It's like uh, choose your own adventure. I've already went up the wrong way a couple times. Yeah. Another dead end.
this does not look like the right way. Be going the wrong way yeah this is definitely a dead end i think the creek that i'm supposed to be on is uh, about 100 meters to my right so i think i'm gonna have to backtrack now just gotta pull a yui now Success. Another soaker. I made it there it is and looks like I'll be going up all right 1k portage Looks like it's pretty much going all uphill. Let's get it done. That'll be on my lake for tonight. So I made it to my lake for tonight. It's a longer lake. Looks like I'm going to be going into a little headwind here. And uh, my site, the only site on this lake, is all the way on the other end. Actually in a little creek, at the mouth of a little creek. Very cool, remote. Here we are.
another great day. Can't believe I haven't seen anyone since uh, the morning of day one. It's been three days now. So beautiful out here. I'm in a secluded, remote part of the park. Very few people come through here. You can tell by looking at the site. Uh, it was just, uh, the fire pit looks like it hasn't been used in a long time. And uh, there's tons of firewood everywhere, which is a bonus when you come to a, a site that isn't used very often. All right, so for dinner tonight, I have the legendary Backpacker's Pantry Pad Thai with Chicken. This is amazing. Inside you have peanuts, big pack of peanut butter. It's delicious. Mmm. This is the best dehydrated dinner you can get. This explains why I was really cold last night. Wow. Didn't get to completely dry my boots yesterday and uh, I iced up a bit. And uh, socks are solid. Temperatures went below freezing last night. Winter's uh, right around the corner. I'm gonna take my time this morning, warm up, have a few coffees, and uh, get ready for what will be a challenging day. This is my longest day and my latest start. It's almost noon right now, meaning I just have a little bit more than six hours of daylight.
Oh man, straight uphill. Very fresh wolf poop. Hmm. All right, made it. All right, got the longest portage done. Now I'm on some small lakes. This is Lady Slipper Lake, and it feeds into Turn Lake. And these are the highest lakes in the park that you can access by canoe. Very cool. Trying to find the little creek that feeds into Turn Lake. Here we are, Turn Lake. This is the only campsite on Turn for canoeists, and I'm sure it's rarely ever used. As much as I'd like to stay here and uh, enjoy this site, I'm uh, way behind schedule. I still have a long way to go today, several kilometers of portaging, so I won't waste much time. I'm in the race with uh, daylight. Seem to have lost the trail now. It's uh, easy to do when there's leaves covering everything. Doesn't look like it keeps going that way. Hmm, might have to backtrack. All right, another portage done. This is Pincher Lake. What's kind of incredible is that I haven't seen a single person in over four days now. Another portage in the books, going way down to Cashel Lake. Beautiful. All right, another one done. But uh, there's a big unknown now in my route moving forward. This lake feeds into another smaller lake. And the map says that it may be impassable if the water levels are low. That doesn't look too promising. All right, I found a way to bushwhack through. It's gonna do two trips though. It's uh, quite muddy and uh, I sank down quite a bit a few times. I'm afraid of sinking when I get my canoe in here. <sighs> well, 
Well, I can't say I wasn't warned. Gotta push hard now, I'm gonna be running out of daylight. This looks very swampy. One more lake and one more portage to go. Wow. It's only a few inches of water here. That looks like a stunning campsite. This site is just... Wow. I think I'm staying here tonight. This has got to be one of the most beautiful campsites I've ever seen. Situated on this large rocky point overlooking this lake, Clara Lake. Wow. Look at this view. Oh my god. Facing west, get a beautiful sunset from up here. Oh man. Wow, we're really high up. I would say at least uh, 50 feet above the water. I am sold. I was gonna push on to McGarvey Lake, which is where I'm booked for tonight, but uh, before I left, I checked all the surrounding lakes just in case I uh, wasn't able to make it. And uh, this lake and the lakes that I passed, they were all green. No one has camped here uh, or has booked plan on camping here for a long time. So. Dealing with a serious issue here. One of my tent poles or my tent pole seems to have failed right here. The connection it's supposed to there's supposed to be a part like this that allows it to slide in but that piece seems to have gone inside hopefully that does a trick This campsite makes it all worth it. Just stunning. Thought I heard something. It's a big bull moose right there.
what an incredible trip this turned out to be. Couldn't ask for more, really. Fettuccine Alfredo. Delicious. Kool-Aid, of course. <sighs> well, thankfully, the tent repair that I made held through the night. We have a uh, rainy morning, and uh, I have a good amount of portaging to do to get out today, about three kilometers. All right, I've got about 10 kilometers to go now. I'm out of food. Let's just get it done. Bald eagle. Getting really hungry now. <sighs> oh, feels good to be done with that last portage. I am absolutely ravenous. I have no energy left. I'm just starving. I can't wait to get some food. That's it, there's the access point. I really enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed coming along. I'm gonna go stuff my face right now and I'll see you on the next one.
Oh yeah, baby.